Peter Schweitzer, in the promotion of the book, it came to my attention, you're at work on a project about Jeb Bush. Tell us about that. Yeah, so, you know, I've become very interested, uh, as you said, we were on a panel together in Colorado, and where I was just talking about cronyism and self-enrichment by politicians. So, I always look at politicians that come into politics rev- relatively middle class, or even wealthy, but their, their net worth increases dramatically while they're in public service. And my question is, is there a connection between the two? With the Clintons, we followed the money, and I think it's pretty clear that their enrichment is a result of, of the public service that Hillary Clinton engaged in. Uh, we applied the same standard to Jeb Bush. Uh, we're about four months into the research project, uh, obviously not as global in scope as the Clintons, but, you know, as governor of the state of Florida, you have a lot of things that you, uh, that you can do. So we're following the money. We're looking at land deals. We're looking at an airport deal. Uh, we are looking at some of the educational reforms that were instituted and some of the big corporate winners there and the flow of funds to foundation. And uh, we expect you to have something on that in early September, and I'd love to come back and talk about it. Now, expand a little bit, because I'm, I'm shocked by that. I've always thought every one of the bushes was as clean as a Yankee uh, snow, and I think Jeb is. And so I, I'm surprised. Are you saying this happened after he left the governorship or while he was governor? Well, we're looking at both areas. And look, we are in the middle of the investigation. I would tell you that if there was nothing there, uh, we would have um, you know, stopped the investigation. I think we're finding some interesting, compelling things. But I don't want to create the impression that we have decided that we know what we found. This is very much an active inquiry. Uh, we, as I said, we've been at it for about four months. Uh, we've been looking at his tenure as governor, who some of the big winners were, and then we're looking at, uh, in the years that follow, when he leaves the governorship, some of the commercial and business alliance that he strikes after that fact. No, of uh, course, again, he went to work for Barclays, right? Uh, he went to work for Barclays. He worked for, uh, for, uh, for Lehman before that. Uh, he's involved with some hedge funds. He's got some uh, commercial activities with China that he's involved in. Um, and, of course, he has a foundation that, that is involved in educational reform. Uh, and uh, you know, there certainly is, is money that has flowed there from certain entities. So, um, you know, it's a question of looking at, looking at the timing of the flow of money, looking at decisions that might have been made, and then seeing if there's a personal enrichment component to that. And, now, I've got to uh, ask you, though, Peter, you know this as well as anyone, because we're talking about unspoken rules of journalism. Once you have a bestseller that I think dispositively uh, addresses Hillary Clinton's corruption issues, you then turn your attention to Jeb Bush, you tell people about it, you say September, aren't you working the system to bring attention to that? And aren't people convicting Jeb in their minds before? I got no dog in this fight. I'm, I'm asking no, hard no. questions of everyone, but don't you kind of create the expectation then you've got to deliver a verdict of guilty, guilty, guilty? No, hey, Hugh, I think that's a very fair point. And no, I would not jump to that conclusion at all. And uh, let me go at pains to say that. Uh, this was something that grew out of a question from Bloomberg as the book came out and said, are you looking at anyone else? And I said, well, yeah, we're looking at Jeb Bush. Um, but no, nobody should prejudge and say, oh, this means that all of this uh, bad chicanery was going on. Don't jump to that assumption at all. Let's wait and see in September when it comes out. We are in the middle of the investigation. Uh, you know, what, what level it rises to, we'll have to see. But I will say that, you know, it's not as if we looked into this and there was absolutely nothing. 